Okay, so we're looking at a stock uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy S i9000 here. Um, so it's uh, still got 2.1 that it's shipped with. Um, still pretty stock. Uh, the only thing I've done so far is rooted it. So now what we're going to do is we are going to, here I'll show you that it's rooted. And you can tell something's rooted quickly by looking at the, for that thing, super user. Okay, so we're rooted. So now what we need to do is um, put Froyo on this thing and put a nice custom ROM, ROM on it so we can really uh, make the most out of this hardware. Uh, if I go into the about phone right now, you'll see it's a GTI 9000 and even though we're uh, almost at the end of 2009, it's uh, December 20th today, uh, this thing still has 2.1 because in Canada, they and it's running JH2, in Canada they still have not uh, released an official for it. Well they did and then they had some problems so they pulled it back. So enough is enough, um, time to put on a good custom ROM. I'm going to walk you guys through it, so hopefully that will encourage you guys to do the same. As you can see, uh, 2.1 still has all the old apps, has uh, the old Gmail, um, where um, if you o open an email, you can't see, you can't go to the next email or previous email, you have to always go back to home. If you want to forward it or there's no uh, buttons on top, you have to scroll to the bottom and you hit forward. Uh, once you hit forward, you cannot edit any of the or the content of the original email. Um, if you decide to change the forward to a reply or reply all, you can't do that. So a lot of limitations with the old Gmail. So 2.1 still has that. 2.1 also still has the old uh, YouTube app. Um, where's that? YouTube. As you can see, this is the old YouTube app. This has also changed uh, a lot. The new YouTube version is improved, much improved. We're going to the Samsung Galaxy S i9000 Android development section of the XDA website. That's where you're going to find uh, a selection of all kinds of different ROMs that you can try out on your phone. Um, there's even like the first betas of the new gingerbread available. So what we're going to do today is we're going to put on Darkies V6 version 6 gingerbread edition ROM. This is a custom ROM based on JPX. JPX is still Froyo. Uh, the reason it's called gingerbread edition is because um, it's themed to look a little bit like uh, gingerbread with the, dar with the darker color scheme. Uh, but it's still a Froyo, it's a 2.2.1 uh, ROM, so it's the latest Froyo. So, first thing we need to do is we need to download the ROM and download the custom recovery. You need a custom recovery uh, before you can install this ROM. So let's download the ROM. We've started downloading uh, the ROM. Um, it says it take about 25 minutes, 184 meg package. So this is an entire package. It, uh, a lot of the custom ROMs you have to first download the stock uh, firmware from Samsung, put it on, and then you install the ROM on top of the the firmware. This is a full package, so you just download uh, the entire uh, ROM in one shot. Darky has made it really easy for us to do all this with very clear instructions. So he's uh, got the link to download the custom recovery, Clockwork Mod Recovery, right here on the same uh, XDA thread. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've downloaded um, the ROM as well as the zip file for Clockwork Mod. So now we're going to connect the phone to the laptop and copy this file over to the SD card. So um, we can reboot and flash it. Okay, so let's set it to USB connected. Okay, now we got it copied over. So there's our internal SD card. 
Now I am going, there's my root app that I had uh, pushed in earlier. Now where's my file? So here's the file I just downloaded. So I'm just going to drag it over. We're also going to copy the ROM, um, the, the dark keys ROM that we downloaded to the internal SD card on the phone. Let's eject it from Windows. All right. I am going to boot into recovery. You do that on a Galaxy S by holding the volume button up, holding down the power then, and then touching the power, or holding down home and volume button up, then touching the power button. Let go when that comes up. Okay, so there you see it. We're in the stock recovery menu. Now you can see here, it says Android System Recovery 2E right on top there. So 2E is the stock recovery for 2.1 for Eclair. So I'll use the volume button to move down one and then use the home button to select it. Okay, I did it once, I'm going to do it a second time now. There we go. Now you see that green menu. We're in Clockwork Mod Recovery. Sweet. Okay, so we're going to choose Install Zip from SD Card. zip from SD card okay now let's select the ROM file okay so this is the Confirm install. All right, here we go. Okay, so now it's starting to do the flash. This is exciting. According to the instructions, we're supposed to see some strange big blue characters on the screen. And this should take about a minute. Let's see what happens. Where's the big blue characters? So-called big blue characters. Don't see them. Okay. So that seems to be on schedule, about a minute there to copy all the files. Oh, there's our big blue characters. Cool. Okay, so we're back at the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now we have to go back and reboot the phone.
Okay, reboot system now. Oh, see the M just disappeared? Our phone just became a GT i9000. No more Canadian model. Okay, so this part should take uh, five to ten minutes as the ROM needs to deodex and zip align. So we'll uh, wait till it gets through its thing. Wow, Nexus One launch screen, nice. Okay, the flashing should be done by now. Let's take a look. All right. All right, here we go with the gingerbread launcher. Looks like we're good to go. Looking at our about phone now. Firmware version 2.2.1, dark keys. Excellent, we're good to go. And that's how you flash dark keys custom ROM. Thanks everyone for watching. This thing's fast.